Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kenna. If you don't know me, I'm a biochemist, a cosmetic formulator, and I make videos here on YouTube. So I have not posted in a really long time, basically all summer, because I've been really busy with clients and also I just really wanted to enjoy the summer with my family and just soak it all up because we only get a few months of summer here in Canada. And yeah, so I'm back. It is September, so I'm getting back into the groove of things. You can expect videos from me on Mondays and Thursdays every single week, so definitely stay tuned for that. And today's video is gonna be just talking about a bunch of my favorite products that I've been using over the summer. I have everything from skincare to hair care to makeup. I'm excited to talk about these products, share with you some of my favorites that I've been using. Uh, they're all definitely on the more affordable side. There's a couple that are a bit more pricey, but we're gonna get into that in a second. Also, you might've noticed that my setup is a little bit different. Um, my camera, my normal camera and my microphone are not working so well, so I, I've sent them up to be fixed. They should be back in a couple of weeks, but for now I'm just filming on my iPhone and the audio is from my iPhone, so I hope it's okay, but just know that it is temporary, okay? So we're gonna up the quality in a little bit, but I actually think it's not so bad. I mean, the cameras on phones these days are basically like a camera, so anyways, enough, uh, enough blabbing from me and let's just get right on into the video. Okay, I'm gonna start off talking about cleansers. So the first one that I wanna talk about is actually a micellar water. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Micellar Water. Now I've been using this a lot over the summer, especially when I'm reapplying sunscreen. So I've taken like a little bottle out with me when I'm on the go and don't have access to running water just to be able to kind of wipe my face down, remove all of the sweat, pollution and dirt and everything before I go ahead and reapply sunscreen. I really like doing this because there's nothing I hate more than reapplying sunscreen over like sweaty skin. So if you hate that as well and you want a little tip on how to just have a clean face on the go, this is definitely what I've been doing. I also use this to remove my eye makeup just with a reusable cotton pad at night. Yeah, I mean, this is probably one of the only micellar waters that I find doesn't really irritate my skin and I can literally leave it on my skin without having any irritation or dryness. It is very hydrating and it, there's the, like the micelles or the soap particles in there, the detergent particles, sorry, are not irritating to my skin at all. So it's definitely a product that I don't mind leaving on my skin. I mean, nothing will replace water in a traditional cleanser, but in the summer when you're constantly reapplying products on your face and you're out and everything, this is just a little trick that I like to use. So whether I have a napkin or whatever, I just put a little bit on, um, wipe my face down and then reapply a sunscreen. So this has gotten lots of use and I've been using it every single day this summer and that's all I've used. So definitely a little bit goes a long way. You just need a tiny little bit. So I would say this is a pretty good investment uh, as far as keeping your face nice and clean when you're out and about and don't have access to running water. Next, I want to talk about the cleanser I've been using all summer. So this is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. Now this one is just, I mean, this is, if you have sensitive skin, if you have dry skin, and if you have oily skin, this is like, would be my top recommendation for cleanser. It is drugstore. It's super affordable. I love this formula in particular, the Cream to Foam, because I find their, um, their hydrating cleanser for dry skin is just, it doesn't cleanse my skin enough. And then the gel one, I do really like, but I love this kind of creamy, foamy texture. Um, it's very, very effective at taking off makeup, which it does advertise, but you know, even sometimes the cleansers advertise that and they're horrible at it. And then of course, CeraVe always has their ceramides, the hyaluronic acid, everything. So it's just, it is very hydrating on your skin, but you don't feel any kind of like layer left on the skin and there's no tightness after either so if you're looking for a good cleanser that is just all around good for i would say all skin types definitely try this one i also use this like all over the body in the shower as well and i especially love using this when i'm shaving my legs because it does kind of a two-in-one um soapy action but then also very moisturizing and hydrating on the skin top recommendation for cleanser right now i mean cerave is just forever the top Okay, moving on to a couple of products uh, from Paula's Choice. These were sent to me. This is the Paula's Choice C5 Super Boost Eye Cream and the Super Boost Moisturizer. So these have totally replaced moisturizer in my more, uh, in my daytime routine for skincare because normally I would use like a vitamin C serum and then a moisturizer on top, but I just love the texture of this moisturizer so much and I love that it's got the vitamin C in there. So I just want to show you. It's like... I actually have formulated a product that feels exactly like this, but it's just like a really nice, not nice and light lotiony feel. 
and it just sinks right into the skin. It's super great for daytime because it is nice and light, but it is very, very hydrating and um, luxurious feeling on the skin. So this has just been my daytime moisturizer underneath the sunscreen every day. And then the eye cream is like you would expect a little bit thicker. I just use that much um, and I rub it here and then I apply it under the eyes and everything. My skin has just really, really loved these products. Um, I always wear vitamin C, but I like having it in the moisturizer factor so I can just do kind of like a hydrating serum and then my moisturizer has the vitamin C in it. So once I finish these, I definitely will repurpose, repurchase, but these were sent to me in PR, so. And I just love Paula's Choice in general. They're very well formulated products. They have a big focus on uh, very effective science-backed ingredients. So 10 out of 10, I would say, is this product. Next, I wanna talk about a sunscreen. I know that you guys have heard me talk about the Beauty of Hosen sunscreen before, and this, this one is the Legome Celis Sun Gel Sunscreen SPF 50 PA Triple Plus. And this one, I would say, is the only sunscreen that I found is like the most similar to the Beauty of Hosen one. It just sinks in honestly so incredibly quick. It feels like a moisturizer. All of the Lagone products are beautiful. They're extremely hydrating and moisturizing um, and they have a bunch of different variations for different skin types but I mean that is just sinking in so beautifully. It leaves no white cast. It doesn't feel like anything. It just feels like skin. It's just like a light moisturizer so good for like a summer SPF because it just feels like you're wearing nothing. Price point is very reasonable as well. So this is one that I definitely recommend if you do like the Beauty of Hosen one, if you're into K-Beauty products and K-Beauty sunscreens, then definitely, definitely check this one out because this is incredible, just like the Beauty of Hosen one. But I finished um, three tubes of that this summer. So I'm trying to use up some other ones that I have in my collection. And that is one uh, that I have used before but I didn't realize how amazing it is so I yeah I'm almost done this one as well so I'm gonna have to get another one but Legone products in general as well if you like K-Beauty products you will probably like their we're just really focused on like simplicity and um, hydrated moisturized skin not a lot of like super actives or anything but just really really good products really high quality products Next, I wanna to talk to you guys about this moisturizer right here. This is the Beekman 1802 Bloom Cream Daily Moisturizer. This has been my night cream every single day in the summer. So, it, and the packaging is just so cute. So you go like, you push it up like this and it makes a little flower and it's just beautiful. So I'll apply this on the back of my hand so you can kind of see. It is definitely a thicker cream, but as I have dry skin, I still in the summer need something thicker at night. Like I can't just get away with a gel moisturizer. I need a more rich cream. So if you're like me, you will really like this. I don't know, there's something just about this, um, this cream that I've just fallen in love with it. It's, I find it completely unique and that says a lot because I try out a lot of different creams and moisturizers, but I find this one just truly, truly actually hydrates and moisturizes my skin all night long. Um, which is quite the challenge. So if you do have dry and sensitive skin, you might want to check them out. I think that they're a pretty new brand. Um, oh, and this was sent to me in PR, but you know, they don't, I don't have to say anything good about it. Uh, but this, I love this and I love the packaging. It's just so cute. So definitely, yeah, I, want, I actually want to see, I want to check out their website and see if there's some other things I would like because I'm just very impressed by this cream. And that's saying a lot because it does take a lot to impress me with the cream because I just try so many out. But I don't know, there's just something about that that I'm absolutely obsessed with that cream. And I literally have used it every day for the past 90 days, I would say. Next, I wanna to talk to you guys about the Versed Doctor's Visit Instant Resurfacing Mask. So this is an AHA BHA complex with pineapple enzymes. Now this is kind of like a, it's kind of like a novelty product, but it actually does do something so it is this here I'm gonna cut <gasps> okay so I'm an absolute genius and I just dumped the entire tub of this luckily I have two tubs because what a waste oh my god so I just dumped the entire tub of this onto my laptop that's unfortunate but yes you can see it's like a jelly texture I want to show you it's like this gel okay you can see it move and it's like it's really fun to use it's a fun product to use um so you just use it once a week and you put it on for two to three minutes and it's like yeah it's like a mask how do i show you there 
it just makes a layer of gel and it has alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids so really good for resurfacing the skin for evening up the skin tone um, it's really good for dullness to give you the kind of a glow and a brightness to the to your complexion but you definitely don't want to overdo any kind of exfoliation and you have to make sure you're gonna wear sunscreen after so i use this about once a week just kind of before i have a shower put it on for a couple of minutes then rinse it off and with coolish water in the shower so love that also versed very affordable and it's just kind of a fun product like if you like kind of these cool novelty <laughs> fun products um you'll probably enjoy this one okay and that's actually it for skincare so now i'm gonna go on i just have one hair care product that i want to talk about so this is the dry shampoo from odell odell there um i love this dry shampoo honestly i struggle a lot with dry shampoo um right now i do have two day hair so i can demo it for you and it's really great if you i can't exactly see what i'm doing so i'm just going for it Anyways, it smells really good. I like that it's a powder and not a spray because I find the sprays actually really irritate my scalp um, and can cause like itchiness and dryness and even like bumps and stuff. I just have very sensitive skin and scalp and everything. This one I have no issues with. I love how light and small and transportable it is. It's really, and you can see my roots are dark, but the powder just goes in and like, it doesn't give you any kind of white cast or anything. And it also smells really good. And there's just a lot of good things I can say. I've also tried their... Um, ultra sensitive shampoo and conditioner and they're lovely they also have a uh like a beach hair drying styling kind of product so odell is definitely a brand that i would check out it's super affordable um but i would say their holy grail product is definitely the dry shampoo it's just very effective it smells good and it doesn't irritate my scalp which is like my biggest issue with dry shampoos so that's a double thumbs up for that product from me. The last product that I wanna talk about is the CC Cream from Marcel. This is the Complete Correction SPF 35. Um, so I like this because it's another layer of SPF. Like I don't rely on it as my sunscreen. I always wear sunscreen and then I top it with this, but I just like that, you know, it's just adding to the protection, which is awesome. The weird thing about this is online, they have like no shades, but then if you go in store, they actually have a lot more shades. So I'm light to medium. Price point is very reasonable on this. And yeah, I've just, I've never actually really used CC creams. And then I got this and I'm like total CC cream convert. Like <laughs> I'm gonna try all the CC creams now. But what this does for me is it just, and I'm wearing it right now on my face, just literally one pump like this much. I'll show you. That's how much I wear. And I just focus it on my redness really. And then I just find it gives me like a really, really nice glow to the skin. It's very natural looking. Um, I think I can get away with this, this shade, you know, in the summer and in the winter and stuff. I think it kind of has this like variability to it um, that is good. But yeah, just amazing for canceling out redness, but also letting like my freckles go through and everything. And this is definitely like the finish of it. Um, just how you see my skin right now. I don't use powder or concealer or anything now. I just focus it in the middle of my face and where I have redness, like my chin and my nose and my cheeks and everything. Uh, but really been liking this. It really makes me want to try the It Cosmetics one. So if you have tried any of the It Cosmetics CC creams, definitely let me know down in the comments below like if it's worth it because I think it's it's about $25 more than this one, but I'm, I'd be keen to try it. So yeah, I mean, this is kind of like a CC creams in general, but I will say that the CC cream by Marcel is just absolutely lovely if you can find this one in your shade and just my skin really agrees with it doesn't clog my pores or anything and marcel is just a brand that i really believe is made for sensitive skin really high quality kind of products always fragrance free all that good stuff so yeah those are kind of all my summer favorite products that i've been using just all the time uh throughout the summer that i've really been enjoying and i think they're all kind of newer or new to me except for you know neutrogena and cerave but yeah i will have the links for everything down in the description box below so you can just uh, check everything out there that I mentioned and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys on Thursday for my next video.